on this part we are going to add the last controller for now that is going to be the movies controller and to add this controller we need to go to visual studio in visual studio i'll just go to the solution explorer then in here just right click and then go to add and in here controller then you select the mvc controller empty and click add the name of this controller is going to be the movies controller so movies controller and i click the add button in here we are going to inject the fdb context and also change the default action result to be an async action result but for that i'll just go to the cinemas controller and then from here i'll just copy all this section control c and then just go to the movies controller and then just paste it in here change the controller name to be movies controller to add the fdb context namespace and that is the etickets.data and in here change the cinemas to be movies and then import the microsoft.entity framework core for the to list async method and that is all you need to do in this part and this is actually all you need to do in this section on the upcoming parts we are going to start to add all the views one by one